just the first time you've clicked in. Give us an email, jumptv08 at yahoo.com is the email address. Just let us know who you are and where you're watching, and we'd love to acknowledge you. It is a wino who, ironically, and Russ Davis is going to concede the tip. He put his point guard out there. Last season, Union University did that every game in the regular season. They'd have Crystal Eason tip the ball and lose the tip so they would get possession in the second half. And Josephine Wino just a little bit tentative, trying to get the ball underneath. They let her a bit too far, and that was somewhat characteristic of what we saw with her Saturday night against Lewis Clark State. Yeah, she would get the ball. She'd have opportunities under the basket, but she would find herself too far under the basket to do anything with the opportunity. A wide open three for Lauren Gregory, who had a big night on Saturday against the, the team that really, they thought they were going to have a big challenge against Vanguard, and it did not happen. And it is Meredith Richardson-Jacobs. Too much on it, and the rebound comes off into Melissa Cook. And Vanguard out to the early lead. Backdoor play they were going to attempt. The Union defense picked up Jessica Richter very quickly. Richter is one who could turn this game. Gregory, two in a row. It is a 6-0 Vanguard lead right off the bat. Union having to play from behind and a huge amount of emotional energy coming from the Vanguard team. I'm really shocked almost and impressed at how well Lauren Gregory shoots from the outside. She only made 16 on the entire season, and we've seen her throughout this tournament spot up and drain them from the outside. You fans on the West Coast, they've got something big to look at because Union has not played from behind much this season. Backdoor play to Aweno, who will have a size advantage, and it's a 6-2 game. And Mark Campbell, he and Russ Davis are best friends in the coaching fraternity. And it's, you know, they, they know that they've got to play this game, but it's a little difficult for both of them to challenge each other. But yet it's a spirited competition. Uh, I would I would actually beg to differ. I don't think this is difficult at all for either of these guys to challenge each other. If you're going to beat somebody, you got to beat your best friend. That's huh? right. You got to. I mean, you love that. You got to beat your. You got to beat your friend. But you know that no matter win or lose, these guys are going to still be friends after the game. That I mean, that really is what competition's all about. It really stands for what the NAIA is really all about. Well, I'll tell you, for those who know both of these fellows, it's hard to work up for local fans any animosity for Vanguard or Russ Davis. The lob goes to Aweno underneath, and she is taking control as she did not on Saturday night. Well, you can see early the Union's trying to get her established in the post that they've done every game this tournament, get her into a rhythm early, and hopefully try to put this game away as they've done every other contest they've had so far this week. Gregory went to the inside, missed it, and Aweno the rebound. If Aweno has had a bad game, oftentimes that triggers a great game afterward. It'll be interesting to see if that happens. Crystal Eason, the senior, goes to Aweno in traffic and the foul. And that's interesting because actually Eason looked like she had a clear ticket to the basket. And there's a reason this Union team tries to get her going in every ball game because she is the type of player that if she gets going, there's not anybody in the country that can stop her. Well, a lot of raw emotion that she plays with. And Kayla Hudson, the freshman guard, and here goes Caitlin Dudley, a sophomore, puts it up. We are tied at six. And uh, again, with the Union, they, they didn't go to Owino on that possession, but the, you, you see them try to force the ball down low to Josephine to get her started, get her confidence, because you really see when she's playing with confidence, that is when she's tough to beat. When she misses shots early and gets taken out of the game, she kind of plays a little tentative the rest of the contest, and that's when she struggles. Gregory with all eight points. It is an eight to six game. Three minutes into this one, you know this is a dandy. They go back door and they get a Wino, and a Wino is matching every basket on the inside. Yeah, Union just gonna go to that well until somebody can prove they can stop it. There is no need to go anywhere else. Josephine's putting them in the basket. They're just gonna keep feeding the monster down low until somebody proves that they can keep her from uh, from making the basket. And a little stutter step. They go back to Boyd with it. Boyd goes to the deck. It is stolen by Dudley. They've got a three on two, but Aweno is not going to help that much. They go to the inside, and Hudson overshoots the layup. And Union has to convert on those if they expect this Vanguard team to be conquered tonight. I think that's the uh, honestly the wrong decision there by Caitlin Dudley. She had Crystal Eason wide open on the right side for a three. You would like to see her kick the ball out there and let Eason take the shot. Instead, I mean, not a bad pass to Hudson, but not quite as good a look at the basket. Well, somebody's going to have to stop Gregory. I can tell you the expression on Mark Campbell's face. He didn't like that. He'll take time out. Russ Davis happy with what he sees. Gregory with all 11 points. It's an 11-8 Vanguard lead here at the Final Four night on Monday night.
of the Division I NAI Women's Championship Tournament on Jump TV. Well, going into that timeout, you saw Mark Campbell on the union bench. As soon as that three left the hands of Lauren Gregory, he was standing up and walking towards the referee. And as soon as that went through the basket, he was yelling timeout. He is something he did not like out of his defensive, his defense's alignment and uh, trying to get that remedy that that last timeout. Now Gregory already to the double digits to make it an 11-8 game with all of the offense for Vanguard. Dangerous cross-court pass. And they work it around the perimeter with Hudson leading the attack. These teams do know each other well. They only played one time, but there's a big history between them. And it is Kayla Hudson to make it an 11-10 game. You see Sarah Chan now in the ball game, and Vanguard goes to a 2-3 to try to pack in that middle and take away the inside option. Great job there by Kayla, uh, Kayla Hudson to get into the zone and put the ball up about the glass. They exploit the back door to make it a 13-10 game. I don't, I don't know what's in this union defense right now, but Lauren Gregory, again, all 13 of their points. <laughs> I think somebody needs to realize that 34 in blue is going to score. It is Eason, well short. Chan tries to get it and does. Captured the offensive board, and she scrambled and tried to get it, and she was out of control, could not get it into Jacobs. Turnover for union. And again, Russ Davis's team will make you pay for a lot of mistakes. And that is one way it is Jessica Richter. And that's the first points that is not Lauren Gregory's in this game. And I will tell you, this Vanguard team is playing with a purpose tonight. There is Chan, travels. Took a step before she went to the inside. They double teamed her, and Union will quickly get Aweno back in, and they'll get Jessica Graves in. And Graves is one who is, it could be a real jump start for this Union team. Yeah, she really comes off the bench and brings a, a shot of adrenaline into the squad. But also Sarah Chan, she's going to have to learn, she's just a freshman, true freshman, going to have to learn that a lot of times in the post play, you know as soon as you catch the ball if you have something there, and if you don't kick the ball back out, she spends a lot, she spends way too much time holding the ball in the post, and that leads to travels and turnovers. Learn to, uh, if it's not there, kick the ball back out and repost and get it again. Graves the rebound, they don't have the numbers, and she will take that stutter step and then pull up and sometimes shoot a three. Here's Dudley to the paint, goes to the left hand and draws the foul. And very, very fortunate because if she had hooked that pass back to the inside, it would have been trouble. So Dudley will go to the free throw line for a couple. Union has had in the second half of the season some struggles in the first half. They had to come from behind by 12 down against Cumberland in one of their conference games in the Trans-South Conference. They had to come from behind against Freed Herdeman that lost in our other Final Four game tonight. For those of you who just joined us, who lost in their Final Four game against Trevecca, that is, their card is in. They have punched their ticket for Tuesday night. And Union going to the half-court trap. And they double-teamed the ball, and Aweno's going to have to pick it up, and they leave Richter open from the outside, and their three-point shooting is pristine tonight. This is a Vanguard team. Doesn't really shoot that well from the outside. Only 32% on the year, but already five for five to start the ball game. Dangerous pass to Aweno, but she doesn't even take the dribble. It's 19-14. Both teams shooting in excess of 60% in the game so far tonight. The difference is those three-pointers. Vanguard 5 of 5 from, uh, from way downtown here tonight.